The metatarsals are the long bones of the foot. They are numbered one through five, the first metatarsal being associated with the great toe and the fifth metatarsal being associated with the small toe. A fracture is a broken bone. Fractures of the base of the fifth metatarsal are common and are clinically significant because they often take longer to heal or fail to heal at all. Fractures of the fifth metatarsal base are described as occurring in one of three zones. Zone one is the very end of the bone and involves the tubercle. Zone two is the metaphyseal diaphyseal junction, meaning the base of the bone where it meets the shaft. Zone two includes the portion of the bone that articulates with the fourth metatarsal. Zone three is the proximal diaphysis, meaning the shaft of the bone where it meets the base. Zone one fractures tend to heal well. The tubercle of the fifth metatarsal provides an attachment site for the peroneus brevis tendon and a portion of the plantar fascia. A twisting injury of the foot can pull hard enough on the peroneus brevis tendon to avulse or pull away the tubercle. And so zone one fractures are often referred to as avulsion fractures. They are also called pseudo Jones fractures because they may be mistaken for Jones fractures. Jones fractures are fractures that occur in zone two. Jones fractures have a high rate of non-union. In other words, they are notorious for not healing. A healthy blood supply is essential for fracture healing. Small arteries enter the fifth metatarsal at both ends and then carry blood throughout the bone. However, most of these vessels end before reaching zone two. And so this portion of the bone is largely dependent on blood that trickles through the bone to reach it a system known as a watershed. Without a reliable blood supply, Jones fractures take longer to heal than most fractures and may not heal at all. In addition, tendons that attach to the base of the fifth metatarsal may pull at the smaller fragment, preventing the fragments from developing a healthy callus and fusing back together. Non-displaced Jones fractures take six to 12 weeks to heal, even with appropriate treatment. Displaced Jones fractures are usually treated surgically. Zone 3 fractures also have a high rate of non-union and refracture. They commonly occur as stress fractures in athletes. Like Jones fractures, they take 6 to 12 weeks to heal or may require surgical fixation.